You know, what I like about supporting the Grand Ridge Auction is, one, you're not going to find a better nonprofit, you know, better cause to support, and two, it's as local as you can get. <laughs> we have our, our students who come in at all levels, some who come in as strong readers and some who come in learning the alphabet. And um, we know that self-esteem and self-confidence is critical to creating a healthy student. And so when we can have the additional resources to teach a child um, those fundamental skills that they may or may not have, and you instill that self-confidence that I'm a reader, to see that love and that passion and that excitement um, blossom in a six-year-old, it's pretty, it's pretty fascinating. And without that additional help, we know we are letting kids down. And at Grand Ridge, that's not an option. I have had the opportunity um, through our um, last year's funding and through um, Issaquah Technology Project to get um, six student iPads uh, this year to use with my students and it's been phenomenal. Well I think it's nice to realize that the classroom of you know 2013 should be different than the classroom when I was going through it in 1983 and if you're not making the investments so the kids can take advantage of all the new technology then you're not really giving them a chance to fairly compete. I think if we were able to get more funding for iPads for all classes or for to have more iPads in the classroom, then more students could have access to that technology and that, that tool. About two years ago, the district adopted some new uh, science curriculum to meet the new standards that came down from the state. And we began to notice some gaps in uh, the materials and the programs that we had. And so one of the things that the auction money allowed us to do was to go out and bring in enrichment. So one example was um, there's a gap in our space science unit at the fourth grade where it doesn't cover the constant study of constellations and the movement of stars across the sky. And it was perfect for us because we were able then to take that money and um, bring the Pacific Science Center Traveling Planetarium to Grand Ridge. And it was a great experience. We were able to cover those standards. And it would have been much more difficult for us and less meaningful. And, and we could have never replicated what uh, the Traveling Planetarium did. Um, out of the book, you really wouldn't be able to see the full feature of it but in the planetarium you could really see what it looked like and what it would look like if you actually found it. Okay. Almost. How about your writing? Almost. Everything's about giving them the best chance to be successful for the rest of their life. If we're not making these investments, it's a disservice to the kids.